Hey everybody, it's Ben with Buy It, Break It, Fix It. Welcome to the channel, or welcome back to the channel. This will be another video on the uh, Axial SEX24 C10, K10, whatever you want to call it. Let's just say it's a C10 converted. So, <clears throat> I got most of my stuff done to this thing now. I got my RC four-wheel drive rims, wheels, whatever you want to call them. The RC four-wheel drive tires with the foams in there right now. You guys know I have all my brass uh, add-ons to it, all the hot racing stuff, custom brass links from a guy on a Facebook group, the millstones, the overweights. I have the reefs servo in there. Also recently added was this motor right down here. This is a 100T uh, motor, so 100 turn. The stock is an 88 turn motor. And... Um, motor that's funny it makes me think of that commercial on tv it's one of the insurance commercials where the guy's half motorcycle half man and the kids are standing there and they're like motor he's like it's pronounced motor <laughs> i love that commercial anyway today we're just running stock battery in here um you guys that are using the uh stock charger for this thing you want to be careful because a lot of guys have been having problems with it best thing to do is you know solder yourself up a connection or um, get you a GST on here or something like that uh, that way you can uh, have an adapter whenever you go to charge it so all right so the test today is going to be for the tires wheels and just the motor pretty much because one thing I didn't like about this truck was the fact of it did that little hopping you know it didn't have enough power at the time and uh if you come up to an obstacle, it would it would kind of like stall the motor out, and then you'd have to give it more throttle, and then it'd just jump up over whatever. So we'd have the uh, CC hand inner fenders on there. A lot of guys have mixed emotions on these because they are a little expensive. They're fifty some dollars for the inner fenders and the rock rails on the side. Um, most of you on the channel know me by now. You know I try to bite the bullet on this stuff. And, and that way you don't have to. That way if you're interested in it, you can see if there's a, you know, a good, if it's a good product or not. So, all right. It's, of course, it's starting to rain. Of course, it's always like that. So, looks like we're crawling in the rain a little bit. It's just sprinkling and we're under the trees over here. So, I do have some new things we added to the course. So this is the one tenth course, but um, I find that this truck does halfway decent on it as long as you pick your line correctly. So we'll attempt this thing over here. I've already done it with the truck. The guys and I were out here, we we're messing around and I know it'll do it. So let's get some shots of that. And then we'll go back over here where I did the other video and we'll see how it does on this stuff. I'll try to, I'll try to take the same line. I just, I brushed up on the video before I come out here to see if I could take the same line or not. So, we'll attempt to do that. Let's get to it. Alright, a whole lot more torque in this motor. This thing just goes nicely. Still a lot of weight to be carrying up there. What I like about this motor capability to do the slow crawls. That's what I like the scale crawl and look. All right, let me get you over there. Come on, baby. Nice little climb right here. I 
I think the truck does pretty good. A lot of guys say take the foams out of the tires, but I don't think so. I think at this point, what we might do is take some brass off the rear and try to get it balanced out nicely now. Get it balanced out nicely and we won't have stuff like that where that rear end is just, I mean, it's that's not good. Yeah, it's probably gonna flip. I really need to work on getting this weight balanced out properly now. There's a lot of weight on the truck. Maybe we can come this way. <laughs> That's another thing you have to watch out for. This Reef Servo, the Emax is probably the same, but they're so powerful that <laughs> they uh, they can mess you up out on the course, so we definitely have to get some of this weight figured out. I'm probably going to have to take off uh, a lot of this stuff on the back here. At least these overweights to start with. So it's just way too much weight. Um, the back, the front actually might have to take the overweights off too because, I mean, it's just so front heavy. Try to keep the same path over here, same line that we did last time. Motor definitely way more power. I mean, this thing climbs like a beast because all that weight in the front. But coming down things, whole nother ball game. Just can't shake that rear end down off of that rock. The only thing I gotta say about the RC four wheel drive tires and all that is the ground clearance is horrible, but they just look bad, so I gotta keep them. I'm trying to get you some of the same angles that I had on the other video. I think I had a different angle than this one before I got over here. Be a nice little transition for these RC four wheel drive cars because they're just getting hung up now. I gotta get my one. I gotta get my one tire right here on this lip because if it drops down, my diff gets hung up. So let's see if it'll take this. It's a heck of a little drop here for it. Now see, if I had that other motor, I wouldn't have been able to do that because I had to do that slow crawl to stay on that edge, just like right there. I don't think the other motor would have done it. I'd have had to bump it. And I think last time we came down here, I turned around here and then we rolled over, coming down this spot right here. Try to come down at a little different angle because last time I came down my tire, my back tire got stuck on the corner of that rock right there where my front tire is. So I think if we come down this way, we won't roll. There goes that back tire up on that rock again. No. It almost came down. It's pretty close. I think we should make it though. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'm sure if the RC4 drive tires are going to make it up this. But yep. And I think last time I came up and went right up over this top hump. So let's see if we can do that. It's a pretty steep little climb right here once it gets up on here. I, I think it'll do it. Oh yeah. 
Oh yeah, nice little climb. Nice little climb. Truck does pretty good. Like I said, we get this uh, weight balanced out in the back and uh, get it so it's not flipping over every time it's trying to come down something. Let me get you set up right here and I'll show you this climb from the side. It's a pretty decent climb. The camera's pretty straight. I mean, that tree behind us is leaning just a little bit to the right, so that's pretty straight right there. Let me leave the camera there and we'll go ahead and get this climb. All right, let's, let's see this from the side. <laughs> yeah, you watch, it's gonna tip now. I'm over here watching it. Let's see if I can't get it adjusted. There we go. <laughs> it's always the way it works. Go on, go set something up and now it's gonna flip and act all crazy. <laughs> all right, we're gonna get this. All right, I guess I was trying to go too steep of a climb there. That ESC needs to be changed out because uh, I notice when I'm turning, it doesn't have enough power turning and supplying power to the motor. Motor. All right. All right, well, that's going to do it for this video. Uh, my recommendations are this. If you're gonna do weight on these trucks, experiment. Don't do what I did. Like I said, I, I try to do what I do just so we can get the whole idea of, you know, hey, this is a mess up, this isn't a mess up. I kinda, I feel like I'm trying to bite the bullet for you guys, so. Uh, I, I just don't know at this point. I don't know what's worth it and what's not. I know the knuckles are worth it, and I like this front axle because uh, a friend of mine has the plastic axle with the knuckles, and his steering is limited because the knuckles on the stock ones are not like this. Well, not the knuckles, but the axle. This axle just has like a Y yoke at the end, and the axial plastic axle has a, it's like a dish, and it limits the travel on the back side of where the knuckle uh, turns. So, I do like that. So, we'll see. I don't know. Uh, a lot of people are saying this metal stuff gets hung up on the rocks. Uh, I don't know yet. We'll see. I don't really have an opinion about that yet. So the hot racing shocks, I definitely feel are worth it. They definitely make a difference. The RC four wheel drive tires, that's uh, to your discretion. They do very well. Um, but as you can see, everything that I climbed up today, I also climbed up stock. So yeah that's about it all right everyone next video is going to be on the trx6 because i have uh, some repairs to do on it we broke it and uh that's about it i love this little truck it's a fun little truck all right everyone be good to people people be good to you ben out